I have a rather complicated relationship with the cross being a symbol of Christianity. No, wait. Now that I say that out loud and hear it, um, I don't have an issue with the cross being a symbol of the religion Christianity. What I have is a, a problem with the cross being a symbol of Jesus. See, I, I know, I know we're, we're supposed to understand that the power of God's love, it, it, it's not just about new life, it's about redeeming this image of cruelty and death and making it an image of life. That's the power of God's love. But it's still, it's still a symbol of cruelty and death. Depends on how you wield it. I read a column, a short column this week from Broadview, uh, posted online. Broadview is the United Church magazine. And it was an interesting column because a person was suggesting that, in fact, the cross shouldn't be the symbol of, the, of Christianity. It should be the table, the table of Jesus, because everyone is welcome at the table of Jesus. It's a place of a welcome and inclusivity uh, where everyone, especially if it's a round table, everyone is equal. The, the earliest followers of Jesus, it was a fish. Fishers of men. There have been other signs and symbols, of course. Uh, but we, we've stuck with the cross. Still, an, an image of cruelty and death. In the story we've heard today, it's not just the cross either, is it? There's nails. There's a hammer or hammers. There's the flogging of Jesus. There's, there's whips. There's thorns. There's the dice that they cast lots for his clothes. They're, they're ordinary, everyday things that, that we, can, we can touch and we can handle, even now. They're ordinary, everyday things. They're part of the story. The, the thing is, we can put them down. We can pick them up, but we can also put them down because they're not the most important part of the story. Neither is the cross. It's the people that are the most important part of the story. The people who pick up those things and how they wield them. Maybe, maybe sometimes we need to put down. We need to put down some of these symbols. Maybe sometimes we need to put them down permanently. But we at least need to leave them. You know, the, the story... The story we heard last night from John's gospel. Last night, John, uh, John makes a speech, a farewell speech to the disciples. And he introduces that. He introduces that by telling them to love one another. And he says, this is how people will know that you are followers of me that you love one another. It's, it's, it's not about, it's not the cross. It's, it's not a table or, the, or a fish. It's you. You are the sign of Jesus. We are the sign of Jesus. We can leave at the cross these other things. We can put them down. Perhaps we can put the cross down 
too. And remember that we, we are the symbol, the sign. We are Jesus in the world.